and welcome back to another week of lunches. Here we go for Tuesday's lunch because Monday was President's Day, so the girls didn't have school. So for Emily, she's gonna have her turkey sandwich on a bagel thin, something different. She has some applesauce, and then this is some banana snack cake that I made. Um, yeah, I made, this is like a Weight Watchers thing, but it's just a sugar-free cake mix with some banana in, inside yeah anyways banana snack cake it's really good some oranges some poppables and then an apple juice and then maddie her stuff is not in here yet she's gonna have tuna fish sandwich tomorrow so i will put that in in the morning and then cut it for her she also has the banana snack cake some applesauce oranges and poppables and the apple juice so that's everything for monday all right guys here we go for wednesday's lunch for emily she's gonna have macaroni and cheese so I uh, use this thermos. Uh, it works really, really well, better than the regular thermoses. This is supposed to last eight hours, I think. I'm not quite sure that it would last eight hours, but it lasts, I think it's like four and a half hours um, for Emily. So I just put some boiling water in this for about 10 to 15 minutes. Then I make this, dump out the water, kind of dry it out real quick and put that in there and it lasts. And then she also has some pears a mini uh, fiber one oat and chocolate bar. These are the Ritz chips in um, sour cream and onion. And then she has a Kool-Aid sparkler. And I wanted to say I really, really enjoy this container. This has worked for many things so far for me. I think I might actually order another one um, because as you can, this is from Good Ben. Um, as you can see, you can fit, this is a whole sandwich, peanut butter and jelly for Maddie. And then, the fruit over here you could probably put crackers in here you could put veggies and a dip in there it's pretty big um so i really like that so there's strawberries and grapes in there and this does seal pretty good i haven't had any problems with leaks but i also haven't had this like upside down and tipped around and all that jazz i have not tested it that way but in my lunchbox and in the girls lunchbox we haven't had any issues um so yeah so if you're looking for a good um, set for like sandwich, you know, kind of, this is more like we have uh, the yum box, the bento, um, and all that. So for older kids, I think this is suitable and they do have the bento, um, the bento boxes as well on goodbin.com. Um, and then Maddie's got the oat and chocolate bar as well, a peach yogurt, some goldfish and an apple juice. So that's everything for Wednesday's lunch. All right guys, here we go for lunches for Thursday. One lonely lunch because Maddie decided to buy lunch Thursday and Friday, so just Emily's lunches. So here we go, so Emily's gonna have a turkey sandwich and then she has some strawberries and grapes, some cheddar Chex mix. Then I got these Black Forest Valentine hearts on Clarence, so get those. And then she's got a peach yogurt and an Arnold Palmer. So that's everything for Thursday. All right guys, here we go for the last lunch of the week for Friday for Emily. We have a PB&J, some barbecue pop chips, uh, some peaches, a mini fiber one oat and chocolate bar, some of the Black Forest Valentine heart gummies, a orange, and then she has a clear American cherry limeade. So that is it for this week. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please give us a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe below and hit the bell for instant notifications and check us out on Instagram at Sassy Lunch Mom. See y'all next week.